People have known for a long time that nerve cells are as old as the organism, which in humans, average of 80 years, uh, average lifespan, can mean that those cells can live without ever being renewed for more than eight decades. But for most other tissues, it's still unknown how long-lived cells really are. The big question of the lab is trying to understand how we age as adults. And so our study provided really a, a first insight into the longevity of cells in different tissues. Most processes occur on the order of minutes or days, but during aging, which unfolds over decades, we uh, really have very poor understanding how molecular changes occur in different uh, tissues during our lifetime. Our goal was to visualize the age of cells in different tissues. So our first target was the brain because we knew that neurons were old, so we wanted to be sure that we could actually first see old cells. After we confirmed that, we moved on to the liver and the pancreas. What we have here is that you have the nucleus of a neuron, the cell body of a neuron, we investigated the liver because uh, scientists have determined that it's a tissue that has a high regenerative potential. But little is known about how cells are uh, maintained in the liver that is at a steady state. So uh, when we looked at the liver, we learned that most of the liver cells are as old as neurons, which means that the liver is also as old as the organism. The pancreas is the organ that regulates your, your uh, blood sugar levels and it contains several different cell types, uh, most of which we don't know how old they are. So we decided that the pancreas was an interesting target mainly because it's related to uh, type 2 diabetes and um, a lot of the cells in the pancreas have unknown longevities or age. The pinkier the nucleus or the cell indicates the older, the older the cell is. So we see that these two are very old cells, whether these two cells here are very young. Our study now suggests that uh, most cells in the liver and in the pancreas are as old as the brain. So we would like to understand how those very long-lived cells age, what kind of molecular changes drives them uh, into sometimes pathological states. I think this will set us on a path to uh, a much better understanding of how adult organs are maintained, uh, the mechanisms that those organs uh, use to stay in a healthy state for our entire life. And then uh, uh, on, on the other side, obviously understand some of the mechanisms that drive those uh, tissues into uh, either pre-pathological or really pathological uh, states such as dementia, uh, cardiovascular disease or type 2 diabetes. By discovering and understanding those mechanisms and these processes, we also hope to either delay or even maybe prevent uh, some of the age-related changes that we observe in different tissues.